Um, Maloi Lele. My name is Latai Taume Peal. I'm Australian born. I was born here in Sydney in the Eora Nation. My heritage is actually Tongan, the Kingdom of Tonga um, in the South Pacific. I grew up in Sydney, uh, in Marrickville and in Nukualofa, the, the main city uh, or town centre in Tonga. Um, and also my maternal village, Nukunuku, which is in Hihifo. I come from two clans that I recognise, the Ha'ahabea, which is my, ma my maternal clan, and the Ha'afisimoha'amoa, which is my paternal clan. My surname is Taweveo, which translates Battle with Waves. And so I have a navigator heritage as well, which I'm really proud of. Um, and I feel that it informs a lot of the work that I do. Um, my arts practice is performance. Uh, I came from a dance background, um, I'm interested in mm. ritual and ceremony, which I also see as performance arts practice as well. So I call myself, or I refer to myself as a bunake, which is um, in Tongan, a composer of music and movement. This is a uh, ngatu. It is a mulberry bark um, cloth that's been made by a group of women. Actually, all these pieces are made by women and which is my interest in, the, in this particular object. But generally, I am interested in, in, in um, material culture that are, that are made by women because they're made collectively. When, you look, when I looked at this really closely, I could see that it, the black lines seemed quite deep and almost gouged out or you know very similar it looks quite similar to me um, to some kind of tattooing um, but I became really interested in these really really fine lines the very um, sparse type design on it I'm I'm really interested in this material culture and I'm interested in in this piece because I'm interested in the things that you can't see I kind of started looking at the looking at this piece as uh, a body adornment piece which was part of the brief. So one of the things that we do with, with Ngatu is we wrap the bodies in this, in this cloth and it's buried with this cloth. And so my work for this exhibition is about looking at the transformations that happen within the lines of the piece it's and and maybe its role within the funeral ceremony and and so I'm interested in in what you don't see in the collection so we there's a whole lot of objects here in the museum and sure we can identify what this is maybe even where it was made but I'm more interested in the invisible intangible cultural stuff that's attached this may have been a a gift in um, a funeral setting because not only is this material culture used to wrap the, the, the dead, um, it's also presented in exchange to show respect um, to the family that are mourning. Um, it's used as a floor covering. So there are different um, hierarchical roles that an object like this can play in a ceremony or in a ritual. And that's what we don't see when I open up this drawer. That's, I don't see that, I don't know that but that's what I'm interested in. It's where this has been, what, it, what its function could be, um, and how it still exists today. One of our roles is, it could be one that is to preserve um, certain traditions, recreate and maintain, not necessarily just the, the techniques of the object, but the belief systems, the intangible things that go with these things. So there could be confrontation around some of those things um, because of di varying spiritual beliefs um, and also just uh, the need to maintain a new lifestyle which is the one of the West which is where we m mainly live now but I think there are I think artists have a perspective that may assist in keeping some of these things and not just maintaining them as as how they were always made, or but in, ensuring that they evolve as well, because that's part of the culture.